We get emails, we get phone calls, not to mention the DMs on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. But many of the people you may hire as a contractor, but the work actually never gets done. Yeah, and the question is why and what's being done to put a stop to it. As our Laren Livingston found out, the answer is it's complicated. Honestly, I wouldn't wish this on my worst enemy. It's been bad. An all too familiar refrain. Rebar and dirt, that's all I had for $20,000, 19875 To be exact, that's how much Soraya Hernandez says she paid Joseph Valdez and Sunshine Pools and Contracting Group Incorporated for a hole. There was nothing else done. The work we saw underway was all done by a different contractor, hired more than a year after her original licensed pool guy took her money and ghosted. And not just her. There's a Facebook group now with more than 200 members, folks who claim they dove in head first only to come up empty pooled. Even after he filed for bankruptcy, he was still taking money from families. Yup, you heard her. In March, Sunshine Pools filed for bankruptcy. We stopped by their Southwest Miami-Dade headquarters. Everything was locked up tight. No one answered the door or our calls. We're still waiting to hear back from the company's lawyer. The biggest frustration is we have nowhere to turn. We tried to go to the city. We'd get sent to the state. We go to the police. They say it's a civil matter, that they can't handle it. The only common answer, I guess, you can say that we've gotten was go to an attorney. We are doing our part, and we are providing the best service we can. If they can. George Pena supervises Miami-Dade's contractor licensing enforcement section, including six investigators who handle contractor complaints. Is that enough? Uh, yes, we are busy. We are busy, but uh, we're handling it. Pena says his department negotiated more than $161,000 in restitution in 2021 and more than $156,000 so far this year. Once we see that there is cause to bring criminal charges against that individual, we staffed that case with a corresponding police department. Pena says the county logged 340 complaints last year, but only 59 of them became criminal cases. The uh, state attorney's office has told us if we have evidence that work was conducted, we don't have a crime. It's a civil matter. Pena admits his investigator's hands can be tied if a license is not issued by the county, but rather the state through the Department of Business and Professional Regulation. But he says there are workarounds. Sunshine Pools had nearly two dozen expired permits on record with the county, all of them for different jobs dating back to last year. They did not correct the permits, so we suspended their license. Meaning Sunshine can't pull any more permits in Miami-Dade, potentially for the next decade. Pena says some contractors get in over their heads, take on too many jobs, mismanage money, and just stop working. Others are just thieves, and I, I hate saying that always have a signed contract with payment terms spelled out. Handwritten contracts, contracts that don't include license numbers, being told the job can be done without permits, and asking for substantial payments up front, all red flags, and never pay in cash. Unfortunately, what ends up happening is that they're victims of the situation because if they have now work on their property that was abandoned, they're responsible for correcting those type of code violations. Chevelli Moreno says that's where she and Miami-Dade's enforcement support and customer service staff come in, ideally before the work even starts. We can tell you they have open permits with the department, if they've had any complaints against them, what the current status of their license or their insurance is. We want to be that first step to get them through the process correctly. To avoid learning the hard way. Why do this to families? There's no need for it. Laren Livingston, Local 10 News. Do your homework. Starting July 2023, a new state law goes into effect. Only the state will be in charge of issuing and renewing certain contractor licenses, meaning local licensing departments will no longer be able to license certain specialty trades. The list is up on our website, local10.com. In the meantime, Miami-Dade County officials are telling us DBPR has indicated to them that the department is looking into criminal charges against Sunshine Pools. We're still waiting to hear back from the DBPR on that.